Navigating Windows 8 with a mouse or keyboard can sometimes be a little difficult. The main thing to remember is where your Windows key is on your keyboard. By pressing the button on the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, you can switch between your desktop and your start screen. To navigate through your apps, click on an app to open it. And as you'll be familiar with, to right-click on anything, all you do is click on the right button. And this brings up all your open apps and tabs. To exit the app, grab and drag down. Nice and simple. With the mouse, the key to understanding Windows 8 is to remember the hotspots. Mouse to the bottom left and click is a quick way to open the start screen from any application. Mouse top left and down opens the application switcher. This is the same as the touch gesture in and out from the left side. Mouse bottom right or top right and up or down opens the charm bar. This is the same as touch gesture swiping in from the right side. The final extremely important thing to remember with Windows 8 when using a mouse is not to forget to right click. As everything in the Windows 8 start screen interface runs in full screen, there are no longer any drop down menus and there are often few buttons to press. Simply pressing the right mouse button will reveal all of the options available for the applications you are in. Likewise, in the start screen, right click on a tile allows you to do various actions. To move an app around, grab it and move it to the left or right hand side of the screen until it snaps into place. In this way it configures itself for use on either side of the screen. To close the app, all we have to do is drag down and exit. To resize any of the tiles on the screen, again, all you have to do is right click. And this brings up the option to make it smaller, to turn on live tiles, or to uninstall or unpin it. By clicking on an app and dragging, you can relocate the tile wherever you want on the screen. And that's a nifty way to get through your start screen.